Did you always know you wanted to be a scientist? And did you always know you wanted yeah. to be a physicist and an yeah. astrophysicist? Basically. Really? I mean, I think, I think I was probably about 10 when I started reading Brief History of Time. And I was like, I watched a movie about Stephen Hawking and I was like, this stuff sounds awesome. <laughs> I want to learn about black holes and space time and time travel and all of this kind of thing, wormholes and things. And so I found out that Stephen Hawking is called a cosmologist, like his job, that's cosmologist is his job. And I was like, okay, I want to be a cosmologist. We're done, good. <laughs> uh, and so then I studied physics in college and went to astrophysics grad school and studied cosmology and that's what I do. So uh, that was a lot of fun. I, I even, for a while I worked at Cambridge University and, and there was a time when I had an office like directly below Hawking's office. Really? And I used to, yeah, I used to go to dinners with him and stuff. And and uh, he came to a talk I gave once, which was wild. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Did he ask any questions? Or he did, did he not ask heckle any you or anything. Yeah, that's a whole other story. <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole other story. Is that a, if there's a story there? Yeah, he kind of heckled me. <laughs> <laughs> did he really? What do you mean? Um, okay, so oh, this is a long story, but. Um, so I, yeah, I was giving a talk about primordial black holes, which is an idea that he came up with, basically him and some others. And, and this is at Cambridge? This is at Cambridge. And what is a primordial black hole? It's a black hole formed in the very early universe, like basically right after the Big Bang. Um, so yeah, I was giving a talk about that and he was in the audience and, and um, you know, as soon as I put up my title slide and said I was going to talk about primordial black holes, I hear this mechanical voice say, thank you. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, that's funny and everybody kind of laughs and yeah. we're like it's pretty obvious who said nobody ever has to go who said no. that <laughs> right exactly um but then as i kept going in the talk every once in a while i would hear no or yes or i don't know really? or i don't think so or whatever like just these weird little phrases and i i would stop and i would look at him and he would just kind of look at me and i didn't know what was going on it was a lunch seminar so he's eating his Maybe lunch he pressed the wrong button so i i had no idea right and and i can't you can't say like please repeat yourself yeah because it's not easy it's a yeah. slow process for yeah, it, it takes a long that, time to get the, yeah. yeah yeah the way it worked was that it had it, he had this um like optical thing that would look at his cheek and he would like squint to choose l words on this menu it would control, there was a moving yeah, cursor yeah. and it's yeah, yeah. And, and so, so he can't and so, engage in right. a fast-paced conversation right. yeah yeah and so i had no idea what was going on so every t so the first couple of times i'd stop and i'd look confused and everybody else would kind of just stare at me and the, you know there's a whole what bunch of like professors in the room <laughs> staring at me and i was grad student this time i had no idea what was going on and there's my hero stephen hawking just said no to something <laughs> yeah and i had no idea what um, you know and i didn't know if it was like two slides earlier or whatever oh, right. um and so i just had to like do a, you know respectfully pause and then carry on because what else am I going to do? Right. And so I finish the talk. Um, you know he takes off. You know they you know he, he gets taken away in the wheelchair and everything. And I ask somebody like, what was going on with Hawking? Like, yeah, what, yeah. what was that? And they're like, oh well, you know that little thing that looks at his cheek. It malfunctions when he eats. Oh. So because he was eating. It was eating. a lunch talk. It was a lunch talk. <laughs> yeah. So because he was so eating. So it was like you know I kind of yeah. imagined it was like a little out of no, control. No, no, maybe. Sorry, sorry. It totally. It was totally just that he was accidentally choosing from like the quick select menu without of me yes, no, maybe, whatever. Yeah, and I had no, and nobody warned me. This happens every time. And nobody told me, so wow, I was there, okay. like, quaking in my boots. So, because so throughout you're like, oh my yeah, God, he, yeah, he, I, I'm. What yeah. an exciting moment, but he disagrees with all my yeah. conclusions. Yeah, I had no idea what was going on. It was the <laughs> well, most stressful really talk I've ever given in my life. Because, I mean, <laughs> how would you feel if you're like, yes. you're giving a talk and, you're, and your hero is incomprehensibly heckling you? Yes, <laughs> I love the that. audience. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and it didn't but, mean anything at all. Well, unlike the universe, that has a happy ending. <laughs>